Tomorrow marks the one year anniversary of my wife and I driving to Birmingham to try to obtain her permanent resident card, her renewal for her permanent resident card. Every 10 years, she's got to get one of these if she's not a citizen. So we went up and did this uh, March 10th, 2014, paid $450 for the processing, fingerprinting, all the the man hours, I, I suppose, that go into to this thing. Um, 450 bucks. I mean, okay, whatever. Well, we didn't hear from anybody by mail, phone, none of that stuff until we received this notice of action that I have in my hands. I'm not going to put it up because it's got sensitive information on it. The, uh, the receipt date on this was March 11th, so it took them one day to get, to get uh, the application sent to immigration. And uh, the notice date was October 24th, 2014. So I suppose it was maybe a few days later or something. <clears throat> I didn't exactly document when I received this letter, but it, was, it would have been a few days after that. And on this document here, it says uh, you're, you'll be re you're, you've been approved. Your your application has been approved, and it will you'll be sent your permanent resident card within 30 days. If you haven't heard it, please call the office. Blah blah blah. So we did that. We actually waited a little bit more than 30 days because we started thinking, wow, it should have been here by now. Let's look at that notice. Oh, it's been like I think it was like 40 days. So we called the office and uh, they asked for the information we gave her. And there's a, there's a receipt number on this thing. And so they looked it up and said, oh yeah, it's been, uh, it's been sent out and it was delivered. Here's the tracking number and all that from the, the post office. And so right away I thought, well, that's, that's not good because if they said it's been delivered, <clears throat> I mean, what are they get? what are they going to tell me at the post office? They're going to tell me it's been delivered. And that's what they did. They told me it's, it was delivered. They asked me if I wanted to, the, uh, the, oh, we got, we got a satellite coordinates and all that. I mean, GPS coordinates on your, on where it was delivered. And I told the guy at the post office that I knew where I lived. I didn't need that information. I don't, I already know where I live. You don't need, I mean, it's cool that you got all this fancy stuff in it and all, but I don't have the mail. And, uh, so he had me go see the postmaster at the at the town where I live, and because I actually talked to the guy where I work first, and I went and talked to this postmaster, and she was about as inept as they get, and she told me she'd call me back by the end of the day, and uh, no, she didn't call me back. But I thought she was going to talk to the mail carrier and see if he remembered anything, and it's been like I mean. They said it was delivered like November 1st, I believe. And I'm talking to him at the end of November. What is he going to what is he going to say? I mean, what's the point of talking to the guy? Oh yeah. I remember that thing I threw it out the window half halfway down his block. No wonder he didn't get it. I mean, I, I really don't understand. So w whether she talked to him or not, I don't know because she said she'd call me back and she never did, but I saw no point so I never I never went back to contact her. I just called immigration and said, what do I got to do? It's lost, apparently. Well, the guy, the guy on the phone that day said, well, if it's lost, just uh, send in another application. But this time, check that it's been lost or stolen. But no worries. You won't have to pay anything this time. And I thought, well, that's good because, you know, 450 bucks, that's kind of real money to me, you know. And so sent off the application. I tried to do it online, like, you know, fill it out and they have a method of doing that. You can do it on over the net, but not for a lost one. You got to print that one out. So I had to print out the papers and fill all that stuff out and, and send it in by a snail mail and all that good stuff. And I uh, didn't hear anything until the, uh, the, next, the next piece of mail we got from them was an acknowledgement that they've received the application. And uh, that acknowledgement was received pretty quickly, actually. I have it here somewhere. Here it is. 
uh, it was received on doesn't I don't know when it was received. It was received on December eighth, and the notice date was December eleventh. And uh, they sent me the thing. I keep saying me. It's actually my wife, but you know, I'm the one working this stuff. They sent it to me with this information here. Application fee zero dollars. Everything zero dollars. Total balance due zero dollars. That would lead most people to believe that I've got one notice that says it's approved, and I got another notice that says I don't owe any money. That I don't owe any money, even though they've acknowledged at this point that this is a request for a lost card. So didn't hear anything from them. Didn't hear anything from them. And after the 30 days, once again, actually, I, I called them on uh, February 9th, February 20th last month. I called them, called them up and said, you know, I, I, I put our case number here on the Internet and it says uh, it says that uh, it's been terminated. And I thought, what, is, you know, what in the world does that mean? The case has been terminated. Um, so I called up immigration again. And uh, each time we call, my wife has to be right next to me because I can't figure this stuff out. And English is my first language. Uh, my wife can speak English very well. But these, there's no way she's going to be able to rattle their cage. So <clears throat> anyway, she has to be there. And they answer the phone and they give their badge number. And then they say, are you the applicant? And I say, no, the applicant's right here. Would you like to talk to the applicant? Yes. And then they ask her a question. Are you the applicant? And she says, yes. And then they say, they ask her a question like her mom's name or her <clears throat> dad's name or something that I would know. And, and all, the, all the information that they're asking her, I would know. So I could just disguise my voice, do a Julia Childs. Yes, this is her. <clears throat> but... I have her get on the phone and they, what a, what an ironclad security system that is. Can you, can we talk to your husband about this? Yes. And then she gives me the phone. I'll guarantee I probably wouldn't even have to disguise my voice. I could just say, yes, I'm the applicant. Okay. Here's my husband. And then they, they I mean, what are they going to do? Doesn't sound like a woman. I don't think they're going to do that. So anyway, <clears throat> let me try and stay on topic. So, we get to the point where, you know, he's, uh, I want to ask him, what does terminated mean? And he said, what's your case type? And I'm like, what do you mean? What's your case type? Leather? I mean, I, I really don't know what, what you're asking me. So I didn't, I didn't say leather to the guy. I said, I'm, I'm not sure of the question. He said, I need to know your case type. I said, I heard your question. I just don't understand what you mean by that. So could you fill me in or elaborate a little so that I could provide you? He said, well, it's there. Each one of these applications has a, has a case type. And I, and I just happened to have the form in front of me and I looked down. Oh, there's a case type right there. The case type is I 90. Why didn't you ask me what form did you fill out? Because that is what the case type is. I-90, application to replace a permanent resident card. Why didn't you just ask me that? Uh, no, he's got to ask me what my case type is. So anyway, I said, uh, you know, it's I-90. I oh, okay. Well, it says here that it's been terminated. I said, yeah, I know. That's what I told you. I just want to know what that means. And he's like, he's like it, could be, it could mean several things. And I said, could you give me two? <laughs> I just want to know what terminated means. Because that's not a word I really want to hear when we're talking about my wife's uh, resident status. Well, he wasn't going to tell me. And uh, he said that there was a termination notice that had been sent out. And apparently that's another thing that I didn't get in the mail. So I had to go online and request this termination letter. And so went on, the, went on, requested it, fill out this big form with all the information that I put on the application, her name and social and all these other things that you have to put on there. And we had to fill all that out. Well, this time it says you can get it by email, which would be, 
I mean, it seems like that would be pretty nice if you could get the letter via email. So I sent the thing away, and this was once again on the 20th of February. Now, the guy on the phone actually told me if I hadn't heard anything by the 21st to do this. Well, that was going to be tomorrow. I mean, it was the 20th, so I just did it a day early, requested the termination letter. And uh, since, since it's email and I'm requesting the letter on the 20th of February, guess when they said I should get the email by? Yeah, not tomorrow, not the next day, the 7th of March. And I thought, why am I going to wait two weeks for an email telling me why something's been terminated? Why can't someone just tell me that on the phone or, you know, th this send the thing out today? So I got a little frustrated. I went to, to, to my, uh, uh, my representative in Congress, Martha Roby. went to her office, actually called her office, um, actually called the satellite office here in, in uh, Dothan and talked to a woman there and she seemed helpful and she sent me a, a form to fill out and have my wife sign so that she could work on her behalf and, and uh, get to the bottom of this, by God. And so, as you can imagine, I wouldn't be making this video if, all, if it was a happily ever after ending and, and all that. About a week later, I got a letter saying, oh, that whole information that you got from that guy that said you didn't have to send the $450 in the second time. Yeah, that was wrong. You have to pay again because, you know, sorry it got lost, but... Unfortunately, you'll still have to pay another $450 for the card. And that doesn't seem very logical to me because all of the work has been done. The card itself costs a nickel. I mean, what does it cost at the most? A dollar? It's laminated, so I guess there's a little bit of material there. And the postage to get it here, um, I mean, it, we better we better have somebody bring it over in a in a security truck, I guess, because two of the four pieces of mail that they've sent to me so far have been lost. So I wasn't happy with this, you know, response from, from the Congress woman. So I, you know, I, I called the lady up at the office and, uh, her name's Barbara. And I kind of expressed my frustration with her. I said, look, if this is 450 bucks, I can't just be sending that away in hopes that this time it comes. You know, what are you, are you kidding me? This is crazy. Why can't someone just call someone? And so she wasn't, you know, really wanting to talk to me anymore, I don't think. <clears throat> so I hung up the phone and um, I even called my bank and the bank called immigration. We were on the phone together with them and everything. That's another long story. I'm not going to go into that, but basically it ended with, uh, the guy at immigration saying, I'm going to have to go to a supervisor, like a, a, a national line above where he was or, or whatever. And they put us on hold and the little automated message said that we would be on hold for 145 minutes. And the lady at Chase Bank started laughing on the phone. She said, sorry, sir, I can't hang on the hold with you for 145 minutes. So that was the end of that right now. And I'm probably going to take that avenue once again, if Sessions, my senator, I, I've wrote to him and said, "Look, I don't want, uh, I don't want to have immigration just tell me, oh yeah, this is our policy, and since we got a tracking number from the post office that says it was delivered to your house and it, de it never got sent back to us, well, sorry, but you're just going to have to send another 450 bucks again. No, that's not the answer. The answer is." Let's find the guy that has access to the printer and we'll have him print out a card laminated and send it off. Well, I went, I went to Sessions' office actually wanting to talk to somebody rather than, rather than talk to him on the phone and there's nobody there. And the guy, in fact, the security guy said, uh, there's only, because this was at the courthouse, he said, there's only here, somebody here sometimes on Thursday. And I thought, that's, you know, that's probably a good gig. Um, but th these people at immigration basically acknowledge that uh, that they won't send 
this card with a signature required or anything like that. They told me maybe you should get a post office box or have it be sent somewhere secure. <clears throat> and but see, then I would the answer still is you're still going to have to pay the 450 bucks. I I don't think that's the answer at all. Um, I don't remember why I was even digging in my papers over here. I think I was looking for the letter that they sent me back. But uh, on my way back from the sessions visit, uh, and before I faxed all this stuff over there, I actually did have somebody call me back when I left a voicemail. I swung back in uh, the office where Martha Roby's rep works in Dothan, and uh, went in there and talked to her, and she quickly knew who I was when I said, hey, I'm the guy that, I gave her my name, and she knew who I was, I guess, by my name. And and she's like, sir, I can't do anything. And she got, she got really testy with me. Now, I can understand why, because she doesn't have the answer. She knows, really, she knows, she understands on a personal level that I've been wronged and that it's wrong that I have to send the 450 bucks again. But she can't say, she can't give me an answer. And uh, she's unwilling or unable, I don't know which, to get on the phone with somebody and find some real answers and find somebody that can say, look, somebody call immigration and tell them, you guys need to do this. I mean, it's not that hard to do. Private companies do it all the time. I even told her that. I told the lady at, at the... Uh, Roby's office. I said, hey, you know, if this was Amazon, they lost a package of mine and, uh, you know, it was delivered. They had a tracking number and everything. I told them, I said, hey, it's not, I don't have it. Somebody stole it. They would have another one in the mail tomorrow. And she's, she looked at me and she said, sir, this is not Amazon. And I'm like thinking, I don't think she got my point. The whole point is you guys are inept. You guys meaning the government. The government is inept. And it's not necessarily due to people like Barbara. Uh, even though she did kind of make me a little bit mad when she suggested that maybe the reason why they can't just send me another one is because there could be people out there black marketing the cards. And uh, I said, uh, do you think that's even a remote possibility in my case? I'm in my congressman's office wanting to talk to somebody. Do you think I'm out there black market? And she said something like, well, you are the one of the people that need them. Or she said something like this. And I, w I was like, I can't believe that was an answer you gave me. But I digress. Anyway, uh, this video has gotten way too long. I don't even know if YouTube's going to allow me to upload something this long. We'll find out, I guess. Um, I don't know where I'm going to send this video yet. Uh, I'd like somebody to broadcast this on the news or something like that. Um, that's how frustrated I'm. Um, they used to have these, you know, action 12 where they get to the bottom of if you've been wronged by a local business or whatever, where do you go when you've been wronged by the government? I don't know. Maybe I'll find that out someday.